Welcome to week 31 of the Mortgage Video Planner. My name is Ginger Bell, and I'm the CEO and founder of Edu Marketing, and I am an Edu Marketer. So this week, our topic is three things you need to know about buying an Air b and b now you might say ginger that's crazy we don't offer financing for airbnbs um, i've never done one but the reason i put this in here is because a lot of borrowers especially millennials are looking for ways to buy investment properties and the airbnb they grew up with this they travel with this, so they're obviously looking to buy this. And there's literally thousands and thousands of these that are available. So think about the ways that you can do that. Um, and, and really what I would suggest is those three things. So talking about the first item. So of course, we're beginning with our topic. As always, three things you need to know about buying your first Airbnb. That's your topic, that's your hook. And then you go into, in this video, I'm gonna talk about three different things to consider if you're looking at buying an Airbnb. And you can get into those three different things. Now, they may not be the, the same three things that I'm gonna talk about. You may have three other things, but think about three things. So first and foremost, you can talk about, uh, are you going to use your primary residence to occasionally rent it out as an Airbnb? Now. Fannie Mae obviously is not um, something that they can put that into, but it's a discussion you can have. So I would put it as, um, are you buying a home to live in that you may occasionally, occasionally rent out as an Airbnb? And if that's the case, then you may be able to do just that. But there's some caveats obviously you need to be aware of for an owner-occupied property, and you can go into those. The second thing, obviously, is using it as an investment property. So there are a lot of options available for commercial investors that allow individuals to buy a home as an investment property and rent it out under short-term rental. So there's harder qualification processes, there's, um, you know, maybe they need to have some rental history or maybe not, um, but if you have those available, then you can certainly offer those. And then the third option, obviously, is something that has been around the industry for a long time, and that's hard money. So it's called hard money because it's not traditional lending, so it's also non-conforming. So uh, those are the three different options. You could get into those, into details, or you could offer something like, you know, three things you need to know about buying an Airbnb. Um, the first one is it's going to be harder to qualify. So it's not a traditional mortgage. Fannie Mae doesn't offer it. So you're going to have to really look outside the box. The second thing is um, you need to you know, think about does this fit in with your goals financially? So are you going to be able to take care of that housing payment during the slow months when it's not being rented out? So that's the other thing you need to think about. And the third thing is does this fit into your long-term financial plans? and and really going through that. And then you can get into this. One of the things that we offer a free consultation to uh, talk to, especially first time buyers that are looking at making investments, um, to be able to look at what's your long-term option? You know, are you looking for a home to live in that um, is gonna provide you with that safety and cap that rent that you're probably paying that's going up right now? Are you looking for a property to add to your investment portfolio? You know, those are the kind of things to think about. So make sure you close out your video and um, always say, you know, hey, if there's anything we can help, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We do a lot of consulting for individuals that are looking to really create a financial plan, long-term plan with properties. So, and make sure you say your name. My name is Ginger Bell and uh, thanks for watching. So that's it for this week. Um, if you don't have options for Airbnb, you may want to change it to, you know, how to buy your first investment property, but whatever that is, go ahead and go make a video. Thanks for watching. If there's anything that we can do to help you with your video planning, with your video editing, with anything that you need as far as video, don't hesitate to give us a call. You can find our information at edumarketing.com. This is Ginger Bell. 
Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week.